Good morning everyone and welcome back to Hearthstone where we play ranked. My name is Rooster and this time we're playing Agro Warrior. Uh, this is a deck you don't see too often. It's um it's one of the forgotten forgotten decks that uh, that were f fairly often seen uh, like one and a half years ago. Uh, kind of like Midrange Shaman to be honest. Uh, but uh, it's still a pretty great way of getting your warrior wins in when you don't have a lot of fancy cards. Um, so it's it's a lot more effective than people give it credit for, I found. Um, this is by no definition the default deck list. I am uh, I'm merely experimenting a little bit. Um, do we coin out a loot harder against the mage? Well, we can coin axe also, so that's probably fine. And in that case, this is a curve, but I would like a little... Just a few more options, I think. Do I throw this? No, the horse rider seems fine. Horse rider seems fine. So, um, there's, there's a lot of weapons in this deck, and most of it will be aimed at your opponent's face. Um, although this first swing of my Fiery War Axe will definitely go towards that Meta Worm over there. That is something we cannot allow to get out of hand. Plus, it, uh, it disguises our intentions. And that's also good. Well played. <coughs> because um, if your opponent has no idea what, you're, uh, what they're up against, then... Um, they might be surprised as to what your uh, what your plan is. Um, I'm not planning on playing a weapon next turn, so I'll hold my weapon for now, just to keep them in the dark a little bit more. Maybe uh, maybe let them make some misplays. Possibly. Well, uh, we'll see about that. Um, yeah, that, this is a little ugly because we're well. We can, we can afford to get a Leopard Gnome, can't we? And I don't hate just Heroic striking her in the face. So that's probably fine. Oh, I'm a little scared of, uh, of Counterspell now. Um, wait, that was a Mana Worm, right? So probably Counterspell in that case. Oh, but in that case I don't mind burning a Heroic Strike on that. Oh. I am I'm a little surprised, but so is she. Um, this might be a duplicate then. Either way, it's not too bad. Um, minions may die here. That's a little unfortunate, but will will we kill that even? We could heroic strike it, but that seems like a bit of a waste. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, that is definitely... Well, if that's Duplicate, then we should probably just start... Yeah, there's no way. There's no way we're killing that. No. These weapons go face. We, we've basically got lethal in our hand. We just need to... We do, just need three turns to execute it. I don't think she can kill us before then. And if she thinks she can, then we have our hero power here, so that's absolutely no problem. Our... hmm. So we've got modes of strike to finish things off also. Maybe we should be wor uh, worrying about this. Nah. It feels like such a waste though. I'm, I'm really in a bit of a bind here. Um... You know, let's, uh, let's strike an actual comp compromise. We do it this way. We charge this out to face. And we armor up. Yeah. Then I think Arcanite Reaper will finish things off because those decks really don't run healing. Well, if she has a lot of bursts, perhaps a frost bolt. Frost bolt would, would really, really suck. Um, can we can we finish it off this turn? I don't think so, right? Uh, she has six damage. I probably want to armor up here. Or can we finish it? We've got this six damage here, um, but the lepernum does not help. 
How about we kill... Can we kill the Flame Waker? And do something constructive here. We really cannot. So we should just armor up with that to Fireball, but that's probably okay, right? You know, I actually like this. Um, and at least the Flame Waker does that. And Arcanite Reaper still kills her. So it puts something on the board, and then that means Flame Waker damage is less likely to finish us off. So Fireball only kills us if the Flame Waker hits us twice. Which is acceptable. Um, and she has to have the other... Uh, the other Fireball. Mortal, Mortal Strike still finishes her off. Yeah, yeah. I think I like it. Yeah, so she has the drain, and that means she's basically dead. We already tested for Counterspell, which might have been a problem. There we go. If this is Ice Block, I would be so screwed, by the way. <laughs> I realized as I started the attack. Oh boy. Um, no, no, that, that definitely looked like a duplicate to me. Perhaps an effigy. But no, no. That, that's how this deck rolls. So, <laughs> you, 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 gotta, you, you gotta dare sometimes. Um, most games are rather tight, I'll admit. Um, also, I'm, I'm trying some different uh, things in this deck. For example, um, Double Loot Hoarder is by no means standard. I'm running Triple Silence. Uh, because taunts are actually a real problem. You asked for it. Um, this is definitely not good enough. We need something... At least something on two. So I think we're throwing this... We're throwing everything out, yeah. And Abusive Star Sergeant on one is still not embarrassing, I think. Uh, but we'll see... Oh, that's better. That that does show our intentions, but there's well, frostbolt. Frostbolt would be unfortunate. I'll I'll admit. Um, in most occasions, frostbolts are are really awkward for us. Uh, we could just play the sergeant here, would we? Would we play the sergeant? I'm not, I'm not sure what what kind of opponent we're up to uh, against. We may want to wait. Well, yeah, yeah, we may want to wait with that uh, for a charge minion because it's basically two guaranteed damage, and that's that's why you run it. I don't really care about wasting her tempo here. I hope you like my invention. Looks like it's some kind of Reno mage uh, that could end in an ugly way. Let me think about this. This is a really awkward opening, by the way. Um, would have liked to have the Argent Horse Rider here, I guess. I would have played it, I wouldn't have liked it. I guess, because that's that's oh, just God. inviting another pain. A little ugly. A little ugly. Okay, uh, let's let's start getting the weapons out. There we go. Um, it's it's nice when uh, when the deck starts rolling that you don't have, really have to think too much about things. Um, a water elemental at some point would be a little unfortunate, I'll admit. Um, we can't really play around Ice Barrier, so I'm not going to. Um, and there's no real way I'm not attacking here, I think. So let's just see what happens first. Um, if that's a duplicate, that's fine with me. That might be Ice Block, and that's okay, I think. Um, do we want to silence that? Uh, we may want to silence that, because if this is some kind of freeze mage, that's just really awkward for us. Yeah, I think I like that. There we go. I'll let her do the trading, of course. And with any luck, we might still have a minion to attack with. That's a second secret, so I'm kind of expecting... Kind of expecting an Ice Barrier here. 
Yeah, okay, so, so that will take us a little while longer. Uh, but we do have a lot of damage waiting here. That is an awful lot of damage in our hands. I like it. Mm, it's not a bad idea to squeeze some armor in, starting at this point, I think. Is there any way we can uh, kill that and not take a lot of damage? We would have to waste a mortal strike on it. How much do I hate that? Um, I could silence it, but that would still deal 5 to my face. I, would, uh, I don't what like that. No. Um, and it wastes the mortal strike as an opportunity to actually kill her. No, no, I don't like it. Uh, we've got 9 damage here, plus an additional 4. No, it's, it's not good enough. Uh, so we could take a swing at the Emperor here. Uh, but that would waste a lot of pressure, I think. Now, um... Let's actually swing face. Mortal strike that, trade this in, and armor up. We can play a weapon next turn. And I think armoring up is just as important, almost just as important as um, as actually dealing damage here. Yeah, so that was going to happen. Um, that spite almost kills her. Hmm, Thelmos is going to be a little awkward. Uh, but I'm going to... well, I can silence that, actually. That doesn't sound awful. Um, so do we axe here? I think we death spite, actually. Because we're leaving Thelmos alive. I don't think we... Ar but that means we don't armor up, right? Um, so we play Spellbreaker... If we Spellbreaker and, and axe... Then we have to break on three, uh, on four. Uh, that's still fine, probably. That is probably still fine. I, I do want to keep armoring up here. Um, the break is going to be very slow. Um, too slow to make tastes, uh, especially if she kills the spellbreaker here. I bring life. Or that happens. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's going to be painful. Um, we can't kill that. We definitely can't kill that. So we just have to hope for now. Um, she needs 7 damage from hand. She has 7 damage in hand. If she doesn't, I can at least break and hope for the best, I guess. I'm afraid that's the best we can do. So, break on three. I think it's important to break the block here, and that's the only way we can do it. And that breaks the weapon, right? Yeah, that breaks the weapon, so we play a new weapon, we armor up and we loot harder. I don't know if there's anything relevant to... Hmm, we'll see. Let's just give her the well played, and we'll see how this goes. If she has an ice block, we're basically screwed. Ice barrier, probably the same. Okay, that might mean we're not dead yet. She might have a frostbolt though, that's a little awkward. Frostbolt or ice lens basically screws us. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's the disadvantage of uh, of playing the um, mortal strike earlier. We can't even kill off our own loot harder. Yeah, yeah, so that's a well played. Well Alright. We, can, <laughs> we can't even kill off the loot harder. Uh, but we definitely had a chance there. If we, if we drew a charge minion or... Uh, yeah, there's a lot of charge minions in our deck. Most of them don't deal 3 damage though. Yeah. Maybe I should have just manned up and... Hit the hit the Thorazan. Probably, probably hitting the Thorazan would have been better. Um, but that's that's an error of judgment. We we definitely had a chance there, so so I'm not too too mad about that. At least the games are quick, right? But it does doesn't hurt to to really think about things. 
Um, so, so what's el what else is um, is possible in this deck? Um, double double bash is definitely not standard. That would have been a good card to draw there. By the way, I definitely well, I might keep the horse. Right, uh, I think I'll keep the bash uh, just in case. Just in case a truck runs out of hand, I think that's not unreasonable, is it? I think that's okay. Alright, um, best to get things going early. Greetings. Yeah. Okay, so... Hmm, if that's an aggro shaman, he's taking a slow start. I, uh, I already said greetings to my opponent. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, so I'm curious what our opponent's up to. This might be a Feral Spirit, in which case I'm still happy to bash one of them. And probably not attacking. That would be... oh, is that better? No, that's not even better. Interesting. So we're bashing that and passing the turn. Gives them the, the opportunity to kill one of them, but that's fine. That still leaves one of them alive after we exit, or horse rider it, I guess. Oh, and he didn't have anything to do, so that's good for us. Um, so that means we horse rider and we finley, so might as well do that first, right? Curious as to what our opponent's up to. Uh, might be a mid rangey thing. Uh, we're taking Hunter here, though. Um, Lightning Storm would be unfortunate, but this is definitely the way we should be doing things. And Lightning Storm is a little awkward for him because it costs three or another Feral Spirit, I guess. Um, this is getting a little annoying. But at least we can deal with that in a satisfactory manner. Keeping, uh, keeping the pressure on the table was probably the best option, and I think he would have lightning stormed instead if he had it. Pretty sure he would have. Um, better start weaving in those hero powers starting next turn, though. Because we're rapidly running out of damage. Oh, come on. <laughs> really? <laughs> I did not expect that one. Oh, and three on the Finley, too. Can we play that? I think we don't. We will wait for one more turn and get the weapon in now. The weapon and the hero power. I think I like it better. There we go. Better start getting those hero powers. Um, at least both of the feral spirits are gone, so we shouldn't have too many more taunts, except maybe an Argus? Or an endless stream of taunt items. That's definitely possible. Would be really awkward. Alright, we've got some... oh, is that lethal? Not quite, we don't have the mana for it, but um, that's... that's 11 though. Um, better spread it, I guess? Yeah, let's actually get a hero power in here. Get some lower. Um, double Feral Spirit, so it's not some kind of strange Reno brew. Might run... Um, yeah, heal bots are quite common. I was kind of worrying about healing wave there, but we should still be okay. There's a lot of damage left in our deck. Are we... No, I still cannot play that. Hmm... Do we play the golem though? Um, golem gets him down to down to four, so that should be lethal unless he has some more healing. So that's okay, I guess. That is probably okay. Um, so unless second heal bot comes out, I think we're okay here. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's rough. Another midrange shaman, though. Wow, I didn't know those still existed. And yet, I find a, I find a, quite a surprising number of them in the last few days. Well played. There we go. 
That is surprisingly satisfactory. <laughs> Satisfying. Yes. Yes. Sometimes it just feels good to bash people's faces in. Digitally, of course. Um, so yeah, that's the reason you run Mortal Strike and perhaps Bash. Maybe Bash and Mortal Strike is a bit overkill, but I, I like the ability to deal three easily, as you, as you saw against those Feral, feral Spirits. So those are really, really awkward otherwise. And it's important to be able to deal with zombie chows and um, mana worms and stone, uh, stone splinter drugs and, and whatever. That's stuff like that. It's the little things that matter. Um, do we keep that? I don't think it's important against Priest. Although it is awkward to get rid of. Um, if it's Dragon Priest, I'll be glad to save this. Hand becomes a little awkward though. Um, but I think I like it all. Yeah, yeah. If you play something, then we will be able to get rid of it, and that should be sufficient, I'd say. I don't think you play Cleric on turn 1 anyway against the Warrior. Um, no real way to hide our intention, so let's just start with the Leper Gnome here and see what happens. The light shall burn you! I will crush you! Are you mocking me? Alright, and that's what we keep the heroic strike for. Oh, it has not... Okay. I'm a little less worried now. Does that mean we... Yeah, we don't have to worry too much about that, so let's do it this way. And get that face damage in. Precious, precious face damage. Um... So I, I would have liked the Heroic Strike a lot there if the thing actually had done, but I do think this is better. Someone Unless he Pyromancers. Oh, please no Pyromancer. Okay, that's good, that's good. I can appreciate that. So he hit, he hit the Divine Shield off. That is puzzling now. Um, but he's able to actually kill off both now. Um, so do we get that precious face damage in? Or do we actually kill one of them off? I do kind of like that. Like, well, we could kill both, right? I don't hate that. We're losing a lot of face damage, but I think the long term is a little more important here. Yeah, I think so. We could also just not do that and then get the face damage in here. Yeah, I think I like that better. Uh, we do kill off this one, and if he wants to draw cards, then that's fine. Um, Cleric hits into one of them, but that's probably okay. Um, does leave the Cleric alive to do the same next turn, but that's that's really slow. And I think if he had anything concerning Pyromancer or anything, he would have done it last turn. Yeah. So not not too worried. Uh, oh, of course we're playing as Dragon Priest, so no real reason to be afraid of Pyromancer, I'd say. So next question, um, what to do this turn? Hmm. We could silence that, but I. I don't love it. I think he has Holy Nova, to be honest. Um, so what do we do in the face of Holy Nova? That's a great question. I think we, we at the very least trade into the Cleric, right? So we could upgrade. I don't know how important upgrade is. We could just trade into the 3-5, actually. I don't hate that. It's a little, little mana inefficient, but I guess it's fine. Let's try that. Yes, I think I like that. Still get 4 face damage in, move the Leper Gnome alive, play around Holy Nova just a slight bit. Because he's heavily telegraphing it. Uh, might still consider it now, but... Mm, yeah, I guess that's a thing. I guess that is an actual thing. And if we do not draw a weapon here, then... Using upgrade to get rid of the cleric is still fine, I think. Um, yeah, that is acceptable. Don't worry, the we don't really care too much about the armor right now. 
So let's do it this way. Still awkward enough for him, I think. He could hit that in and then the Holy Nova, but that's still kinda bad. Oh, Shadow of Pain is a little unfortunate. We should have enough damage left to be able to finish him off, I think, as long as no big taunts run in the way. So we should be able, uh, we, we should be careful with this Iron Beak Isle, I mean. Um, yeah, we're, we're playing terribly off mana, but this should still be fine. Um, does that kill him next turn? Not if he heals. But there's, there's plenty of sources for 2 damage in our deck, so... Oh, um, yeah, that's actually lethal. So I guess that works. Hey! Sometimes... Sometimes you just have to, to hope your opponent doesn't see what you're doing. Or that he just cannot help it. Um, that's, that's definitely possible. Sometimes your your opponents are just not not prepared as to what you're doing. Yeah. <coughs> uh, though I won't lie, this deck has its share of really bad matchups. It does. It does have. Uh, it does have some really terrible ones. Uh, the wrong kind of paladin is one of those. So let's see what we're up against. Um, we're definitely not keeping Arcane Golem. Um, Abusive Sergeant would be nice, but I'm not too excited about it right now. Um, what one drops are we hoping for? I guess Curse Blade, Lebernome, Sir Finley. Uh, that's four cards. Are we mulliganing? No, we're, we're not throwing away one drop in, a, in hopes of getting four cards that are better. This should still be acceptable. Alright, and I guess that's a curve, if, if a little less than ideal. I'll never tell. And Secret Paladin. Please, no. Please, no. <laughs> Um, let me think, would there be any way we're not attacking here? We're always attacking here, right? We are always attacking here. Um, loot horror. Yeah, I don't love it, but that that's not noble sacrifice and that's a good thing for us, I think. Okay, he does not trade, that is... Interesting. I'm expecting... Am I expecting Avenge here? I guess I am. Um, what do we do about that? Are we... Are we scared about it? I think the, the best answer to Avenge is to not just not kill his minions. Oh, 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 uh, what's happening? Okay, thank you, thank you. For not screwing up the connection here. Oh, I guess that's a thing. I guess that's a thing. Okay. Um. Yeah, the cock hammer does suck a little bit. But if that's avenged, then we can safely trigger it now, right? So that should be okay. We've got some weapons. We'll trade divine shield. He can kill that. That is probably okay. Um, question is, do we bash or do we... We might want a minion on the board. So we could bash that. No, bash, bash, is, bash is good for finishing th stuff up. So let's trade Divine Shields and smash it. Mm, yeah, so no redemption, that's good. Um, we're, we're rid of the taunt, so, the, so the, the big scary taunt is out of the way now. That's that's a good thing. Happy days. Oh, a little awkward, I guess, is that we're killing our own minion now, but that's acceptable. We're getting some damage in. And that's the most important thing. Oh, we could actually upgrade here. Um, although the rest of our turn is a little awkward in that case. 
How much does that matter? We can upgrade and Lepernome and armor up, or upgrade Lepernome Bash. I think preserving the Bash is pretty good still. Um, and this is a good time to upgrade, I guess. Yeah, I think I like that still. So we armor up, and we see what happens. Um, Tyrion, uh, uh, hopefully we can kill the Paladin before Tyrion hits. That's uh, that's a big concern here. Although as soon as... Oh my god, what is that card doing in your deck? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. As long as you're trading, uh, it's fine. Um, she's getting a little concerned, I, I guess. And I can't really blame her. Oh, that's a good draw. Um, so we definitely... Well, we... Oh, yeah, yeah, so we definitely play this first, right? Yeah. We always play it first. So we hit face, and we hit more face. And then next turn, Bash probably kills her. Pretty sweet! Pretty sweet! Alright. And that is why you run Triple Silence. I like it. I like it. Doesn't even die to the, to the Death Spite. This guy is so much more, so much better than how. Uh, it's ridiculous. It, it kills the Belcher here. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So, so I can, I could trigger a noble sacrifice here, but she knows she's dead, right? I think she knows. I, th I don't think there's any, any way that I. No, just, 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 just not play around. This deck is ridiculous. Alright. Four wins already, and we're barely half an hour in. Let's play one more game and then call it a day. Uh, but I'm I'm enjoying myself. I'm I'm enjoying myself way more than I thought I would when I uh, <laughs> when I booted up this deck list. Um yeah. Yeah, it seems to be working fine. We, we haven't seen the All-Star Curse Blade yet, um, which I did play in my practice game. Um, turn 1... Turn 1... Curse Blade... Oh, I think it was actually against a Warlock. Okay, okay, we have to keep this now. Um, so we don't keep the Bash, I think. Uh, but the Axe... Well, the Axe is a little awkward. It's not a turn 2 play. If we play turn... One cursed blade. It's good to have as an option, though, because if she plays a mana worm, then it's really awkward. Yeah, so let's uh, let's keep it as an option. So this warlock plays turn one void walker, and then I play turn one cursed blade coin upgrade, and and it was just the greatest thing ever. Um. So do we have a turn two play? Let's just get this out there. Let's just get the damage in. That's not the guy I was looking for. There we go. Greetings. Let's just get that in there. Get the damage in. I'll show them. I'll show them. This might be another freeze mage. I am not killing that minion, my lady. I am not killing that minion at all. If this is Tempo Mage, is it a sin to armor up here? Um, if this is Freeze Mage, would it be correct to Heroic Strike this? I wonder. We, we do want to get the Weapon Swings in, we don't want to kill this. She can do that herself. We want to save the Leopard Gnome. We cannot play the weapon. We can, we can play the weapon. But I think it's important to save damage. Okay, let's uh, let's go for it. Let's just go for it. Even if this is a freeze mage, it's probably still correct to keep applying pressure. So she can deal four damage. That's that's fine. I'll take. I'll probably take another four by killing that now. Actually, oh my gosh, there's so many weapons. Um, so weapon and leopard gnome, right? Um, no, I'm just hitting face. I don't care about your secret mage. 
Okay, there's, there's another one to ping. I don't need to do that. If this is Freeze Mage, I want to start armoring up. Even, even aggro warriors can armor up against Freeze Mage and still remain out of reach. This is absolutely Freeze Mage. Um, that means she's trading, right? Alright, so she, she gets a secret in. Um, I get my death spite out. So that is still fine. That kills the minions next turn. This is Ice Barrier. It is not Ice Barrier. So let's prepare for Ice Block. Yep. Um, so let's be careful with this thing here. Um, we do definitely not have... We definitely do not have enough damage to kill her through that. Do I want the silence to avoid her? To I don't think the silence is very valuable. It just means she pings it and that's okay. I would have liked to silence the mad scientist, I guess. But this should be fine. I can just kill it myself, right? It doesn't matter. Could silence the Doomsayer, but that would be... Actually, that would be pretty funny. There's no real reason I shouldn't do that. Kill, kill her minions, leave my owl alive. That's... that's... Is that better than denying the card draw? I don't know, that's, uh, that's a real question. But I think it's more valuable than doing nothing. Yes. Armor up. Pass. There's not many cards that we wouldn't play next turn along with one of these weapons. Should be fine. Do we deny a card draw? Denying card draw might be important, but putting pressure is also... This applies pressure. We can we can hit for seven. She has to kill that. Sounds fine to sounds fine to me. Um, we'll forget the armor for one turn in favor of just applying face damage gently. Gently, of course. Um, she'll probably run the acolyte in. That's fine with me. Maybe maybe frost nova even, and that's also fine. Just remember to keep this for the last two damage. Last couple of damage points might be hard to come by. Might be rough. The, the three hits are rather small, I'll add. Maybe I should have denied the card draw. Um, that might have been a mistake, to be honest. But this should be awkward enough to get rid of. So that's okay. Uh, cost a Frostbolt, so that's a Frostbolt that's not going to my face, which is good. It's good enough for me. Um, yeah, I would I would not like a new hero power. <laughs> what am I saying? I would not like a new hero power. Can I take that risk? I could break the block this turn if I get a Hunter. Uh, but it could be... it could be equally terrible. But let's, let's see, if we if we get Hunter or... No, I think it's always bad. I think it's always bad. Let's, uh, let's not. We can break the block next turn and that should be enough. Let's not give her any way to kill off the scientist. She, she can do that herself, that's uh, perfectly fine with me. I think I will use the South Sea Deckhand to break the block, by the way. If uh, if that's the only... oh. Let the pain speak Awkward. To me. Awkward. Alright. Um, that's a little ugly. That, that'll take me a while. So that's a little nasty. Um, she has a lot of damage there, but... This will break in three turns. Oh, that's bad. I don't like it. Can we wait for uh, for Mortal Strike? I don't think we can wait for a Mortal Strike, right? She might have heal bot. No. No, we just have to pressure. And getting started is a good idea. 
there's there's no way we're not doing this. We just have we just need a couple more turns and yeah, getting both of the ice barriers is a little unfortunate for us. But there's there should be plenty of burst damage left. I I think armor up is is our third best hero power here. Maybe second best even. Yeah. Probably second best. The only thing I would rather have is Hunter. Okay, that... That is a problem. That is a real problem. Um, so that's a lot of damage next turn. That's two, and... That's four, that's nine. We cannot deal damage to her. I think we... Can we Finley here? I think it's... I think we Finley. Um, then we can maybe break faster? Yeah, let's try. Okay, that's a Hunter. Nice. That might still give us an out here. She has to freeze us next turn also. Um, but she might just be able to kill us. Um, so we'll see about that. It does allow for a lot of card draw, which made me extra hesitant to uh, to be playing the Finley here. Not much we can do about that, though. Except not playing it. That, that, is, that is a real thing. But I think the Hunter Hero power is more important here. Um, so if she doesn't freeze us, we get to break the block. Um, so that's important. Well, we're not dead this, this turn, but the question is, does she have an extra ice block, and can she kill us next turn? She does have an ice block because she can ping the mad scientist next turn. That Finley was horrible. Oh my gosh. That Finley was so bad, I have no idea. I literally have no idea. Um, 20. 2017. Oh, and ice lights, okay. So, no block breaking this turn unless I. Hmm. Unless I top deck some damage. Oh, that's good. Um, we might live. We might live. Um, no way to break here, right? No way to break. Okay, so we silence this one. And. Is there anything we need to kill? I don't think so. There's no real benefit in using the South Sea deck hand now. Let's just hope if we survive this turn. It might be naive because she only needs a fireball, I guess. What would armor up have saved us this turn? I don't think it makes a difference. No, I don't think it makes a difference. She might not have it though. <laughs> Because she seems to be using a lot of resources to draw cards, so that's good for us, I guess. I bring life. Oh, the Straza. That's bad. And the Frostbolt for us. Yeah. That's all the freezes, though. Um, but we can't heal. There's, there's no heals. There's no taunts. There's, there's nothing. There is absolutely nothing. Well. All right, so yeah, that's that's why they, these decks don't work. That is why these decks don't work. She basically had to keep us frozen for for basically forever. Maybe maybe defending was wrong. Ah, oh well. Um, it's still a nice deck. Um, it has some rough spots. Either you win spectacularly or you lose with basically no chance. Um, but that's the way that's the way it goes. Um, but if you're in need of some warrior wins, highly recommend it and not very expensive. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any suggestions on what to play next month, please leave a comment below. Um, I'll probably check it out. I'll see you next time.